As I said uh, at the start in one of the earlier short vids, um, statistical analysis of research data, which is numbers, uh, produces this thing called factor analysis. I don't do numbers personally, but I've seen students do it. Um, what we want to be able to do here is look at the qualitative data to see, essentially we're looking to see which categories frequently occur with other categories in our chunks, in our little bits of text. So if you can imagine that we're browsing through um, all of the chunks in our research here, as soon as we see that you know technology is always occurring with business, then there's something going on there. If we see that there's 75 occurrences of society and education, but only three occurrences of society and government, it's telling us something. So what we want to be able to do now is do this pairs analysis. Um, the first thing the system has to do is do a bit of grunge work for you. So we click there and it's built actually a, a table of pairs. I uh, don't know whether you want to see them. Here they are. So that's just the raw data for the tables of pairs. Um, what we need to be able to do is recognize that you get very high numbers of occurrence. So we need to choose a minimum frequency to qualify a pair for inclusion. Um, there's a very little data in this example, so two should uh, do the do the business for us. Uh, we just need a bit of space here. Ooh, it just fits. So here's the analysis of pairs for this uh, trivially small volume of data. Ah, lo, lo and behold, five times we see the occurrence of society and technology coming up in the same chunk. Um, if we see something twice, it's not very significant. Certainly in the real case, you'll see lots of pairs that you see once or twice. What we're looking for is the ones that occur you know, 45 times, 65 times, and so on. But uh, when you see a pattern here, uh, which is quite likely in the real data case, uh, you can begin to make a really interesting story out of the things that occur together. Uh, because there's a lot to work with sometimes, you can select which of the pairs do you actually want to look at. And you can do... Um, whoops, beg your pardon. <laughs> Let's say we're particularly interested in society, so we can look at only the pairs that include society. Society on the one side, or society on the other side. Okay, cool. Um, once you've got your pairs, you can put them in the clipboard, just like we did before. Um, whoops, not that one. Ooh. We can put them in clipboard, and uh, oh, I see we've got the. Uh, uh, there's a, a bit of an issue there because the um, the uh, use of rich and plain text is a feature of the analyzer. We're really skimming over the surface here, but uh, it, that just reminds you that this is a real world and uh, the real world is a messy place. That was a bit of mess. Okay, we've done the quick tour and what we need to do next is show you what it's like when you're actually doing your own research. Uh, that just gives you a feel for how confused you can get. I hope you're interested. I hope you find it full of promise. There you go. That's what we're going to talk about next, doing your own research. <laughs>